Hello everyone. If you're visiting the channel for the very first time, welcome. If you have visited before, welcome back. I am so excited to share the special edition of a Queen for a Day tribute to all queens. You are so worthy of this honor. All men are invited to share and support your queen. The table is set. The red carpet has been rolled out. No need to RSVP or wear special attire. Just come as you are and receive your crown as you bask in the beauty of it all. Welcome to this Crown Royale dinner affair. Hosted by Divine Inspirations by Martha. Please enjoy the video. A queen is defined as someone who doesn't conform to what others think, but she is empathetic and puts herself in the shoes of others to relate and help others through their struggles. She look out for the greater good of others. A queen reigns in her own right she is born in a royal family. Real queens fix each other's crown. So let's talk about how to treat a queen. First and foremost, treat her with respect. Make her feel beautiful. Make her feel appreciated. Make her feel valued. Make her feel desired. Make her feel heard. Most of all, make her feel loved. I've always had this fascination with crowns. The crown represents power, victory, triumph, honor, and glory. Today, I am very honored to acknowledge three queens in my family circle. The first honoree to sit in the queen's chair is my mom, Queen Mary. Queen Mary is worthy of this honor because she was a single mom who raised 12 children of her own and other family members' children as well. My mom is my greatest inspiration. Currently, she is residing in her heavenly mansion, and I love and miss her dearly. She has earned her crown. Next is my eldest sister, Bertha. Queen Bertha was also a single parent who did not allow the adversities of life to put a hold on her future. Bertha was always a go-getter. She worked extremely hard to see that her vision, seeing that all of her children receive a college education, was achieved. Currently, Bertha, who will be turning 82 years young next month, has been an entrepreneur for 50 years plus, and currently she is still working. Bertha has earned her crown. Last but not least, meet Queen Alicia, whom I girded from my loin. This courageous queen did not allow her circumstances to define her. She met her challenges head on without hesitation, and she persevered. She rose above all of the obstacles and went on to become a RN and soon to be nurse practitioner. She added her own cosmetic line. 
to her resume. I am so, so proud of her. She has earned her crown. I received my inspiration from this gorgeous royal pink tea set that I ordered from Amazon. I love the gold crowns on the inside of the cups. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I purchased this gorgeous gold and white cake flake stand from Home Goods. Isn't she lovely? You will see this cake stand again. I wanted to find a sleeve for my menu cards, so I went shopping to Hobby Lobby, and I saw these for $5.99 a pack, but I did not purchase them from there. As you can see, I purchased them from Goodwill for $0.99. Cents. This is how the menu card looks. I think it came out really nice. I also did a DIY on some place cards from these same cards. Please enjoy the remainder of the video as the music plays. Thank you. If I have inspired you today, made you smile, or deposited a little joy in your heart, please give me a thumbs up, comment, and share. If you have not subscribed to Divine Inspirations by Martha, please consider doing so. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Please come again, and I will do my very best to keep you inspired. Remember, God loves you, and so do I. Take good care and be safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I'd like to give a special shout out to Queen Paulette from Everything Paulette. Congratulations, Paulette, on 5,000 subscribers. You deserve it. Thank you so much for all of your help and advice on this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you.